at Disney, big change, Mickey talks to you, knows your name, knows your kids' names, knows your favorite character. It is all in the works. Always good to talk with our friend Lou Manjo from WDW Radio. We've known like wristbands like this. When you go to Disney, you're gonna be in the future, you're gonna be wearing wristbands like this. We've known that's coming, but now we're starting to get some specifics. And one of them's really blowing my mind. This this talking Mickey. Tell me about that. Yeah, so Tom Staggs, the chairman of Parks Resorts, uh, yesterday announced some more details about the magic bands that are gonna uh -huh. be rolled out sometime later on this year. And one of the really intriguing things is the personalization aspect of what you and your kids are gonna experience. So in this band, you'll be yeah. able to include some information as much or as little as you want if mm -hmm. you have any privacy concerns but imagine how cool it's gonna be when your son walks up and Mickey sees him and because he knows that his name is Jack he says hey Jack how are you I know your favorite character come is Peter on Pan. he doesn't do that he goes oh, oh, hey there Jack like he, that right he come sound on. just like that yeah but just imagine that kind of personal experience whether it's Mickey or one of the other characters as well too yeah that is really that is really amazing also uh, I like what you were saying before that uh, it's not just going home and looking at pictures you can be prepping for this vacation for for weeks and months to come, and that'd be a lot of fun. Right, so I think it's really about personalizing the experience and extending the, the park experience, not just after you leave, you go home and you look at pictures yeah. and think back, but before you go, so many of us are, are Uber planners, <laughs> but now you'll be able to integrate your, ma your magic band into that. So for example, not only can you make dining reservations, but you can even decide what you want to eat. Uh -huh. You go in, you swipe your, your wristband at Be Our Guest, for example, and your food will be right, brought to you, right to your table. Amazing. More importantly, the attractions are gonna be enhanced as well too, so it, it's a small world you'll be able to design your own doll at home link it up to your band while you're riding the attraction your doll will pop up from behind are you kidding whatever. me i am not kidding you so as you're going through hey kids wait for the day and then all of a sudden i feel like i'm you're, you're getting in touch with my inner clark <laughs> Griswold. you know what i'm saying <laughs> hey kids let's get the family trucks here and plan this thing out yeah. that's amazing yeah and it'll know things so if it's your birthday too as you're leaving it's a small world a sign might pop up and say hey happy birthday bob or happy anniversary this is technology that we've seen other parks have, have, have taken a little bit of that but they're taking it to a, a crazy uh, unseen level yeah you know the, the talk is all about this wearable technology now with things like Google Glass, Google Glass yeah. Disney's really had this in the pipeline for a while and I think Bob what we're really seeing is just the very tip of the iceberg in terms of not just the personalization the interactivity mm -hmm. but sort of the use of technology even in some of the older attractions like it's a small world all right Lou good talking to you thanks man. thanks